and welcome to x-ray review this is going to be a quick video about different hair artifacts you can see on an x-ray and you don't want to be fooled and think that these are pathologies so got a bunch of examples of different types of hair artifacts that mimic pathology first case is a large soft tissue mass on the left side of the patient's neck and if this were the only view that you had it could easily be mistaken as a tumor but with the addition of a lateral view, it's very obviously a ponytail artifact. And looks like there is a large mass on the right side of the patient. And rather than some type of tumor, this is a hair artifact with some type of object wrapped around the patient's ponytail. Here is a large density overlying the lower cervical spine. And of course, this is a ponytail artifact. Here is a frontal view of the cervical spine with an asymmetric density. And this is the ponytail laying over the patient's shoulder. I'm commonly asked about the round density overlying the patient's forehead on frontal views, seen right here. Now, while it is possible to have a uh, benign tumors like an osteoma, it will not present like a perfect round circle right in the area of a patient's ponytail. So correlate clinically, but when you see these white densities, big round circle overlying the patient's head, it's just a ponytail artifact, it's nothing else. Another example of a large round ponytail artifact. Again, don't confuse this with pathology. If you see this and you think it could be something real, always make sure to see if the patient has a ponytail. All right, so this large tissue mass here must be a tumor. Of course not, it's hair. Another example of a ponytail artifact mimicking a soft tissue mass. So you have to admit, if you've never seen this before, and you see a big density like this on an x-ray, it's easy to understand how this can be confused with a tumor. Sometimes prominent hair artifacts can get in the way of the anatomy that you'd like to see, like on this cervical view. And if this is the case, you have to pull the hair out of the way and reshoot the x-ray. This is another commonly asked question I get in regards to something overlying the lungs and it looks like a density here but this time rather than zoom in we're going to zoom out and now it becomes pretty obvious that what we're looking at is actually just another ponytail artifact in this example we can see prominent hair artifacts that are showing up on the images here you can clearly identify the patient's ponytail as it's laying over her shoulder. I'm always amazed at how well you can see hair on a well taken x-ray. And I think this is a good example of that. All right, so let's see if you were paying attention. Is the visualized soft tissue density normal or abnormal? And of course, this is normal. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed looking at all these different examples of patients' hair. Um, remember, patients have hair, and sometimes you can see it on an x-ray, and you definitely don't want to be confused. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, please like and subscribe, and any comments, please put them below. Thanks again.